If you're asked to find the mass of one mole of electrons, here's how you can do that. So starting off, we need to know how much one electron weighs. What is the mass of just one electron? So one electron, this is the mass of one electron. And you see this 10 to the negative 31st, that means the mass for electrons, it's very, very small. So we have our mass here. For the purpose of this video, let's use how about 9.11 times 10 the negative 31st kilogram. And this number is from the National Institute of Standards in the United States. It's a very reliable number here, but a bit much detail for our purposes. So we have the mass of one electron, but we're interested in the mass of one mole of electrons. So we need to know how many particles, how many electrons are in one mole. One mole, that's Avogadro's number. And one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Particles can be molecules, atoms, ions, or just electrons. So this is the number of electrons in one mole. So at this point, you should be thinking, well, if one electron has this mass and one mole of electrons is this many, we just need to multiply these two numbers together. And that'll tell us the mass of one mole of electrons. To do that, when we multiply, we'll multiply 9.11 times 6.02, and then we add these exponents here when we're multiplying with exponents. We end up with, and we get this 10 to the negative eighth because negative 31 plus 23, that gives us negative eight. So even though we have Avogadro's number of electrons, it's still a pretty small number. Again, electrons are small. If we wanted to take this to grams, we divide by a thousand, that would give us. And if we wanted milligrams, we divide this by a thousand. And you could even call this 0 0.548 milligrams. That would be the same thing. So that's how you find the mass of one mole of electrons in kilograms, grams, and milligrams. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.